If you always feel your hamstrings and not enough glutes when doing your RDLs, listen up, you might find this video helpful. I'm gonna walk you through two potential reasons why this might be occurring from experiences with myself, my clients here at my gym. By the way, we can never completely take the hamstring out of the RDL, it's always gonna be involved. We can sort of just turn down the heat map of the hamstring involvement and hopefully turn up the heat map for the glute involvement. So let me show you what I mean. Firstly, potential reason number one, you might be starting the movement off by going into a big anterior pelvic tilt and then going into your RDL, putting a big, big stretch on your hamstrings. Whether it's right, whether it's wrong, not here to debate that. Potential reason number two, if you've got too much of a locked knee, and then as you go down, you see how my shins drift back behind me into a negative shin angle. Once again, a lot of hamstring, disadvantaging the glutes. Here's the two things I invite you to try and do. So instead of being here, I invite you to pull your rib cage down a little bit, keeping your abs short and braced, pulling your pelvis into more of a neutral position, the second thing, unlocking the knees a little bit to the point where your shins can just remain vertical. So instead of locking the knee, notice how my shins drift back here behind me into a negative shin angle. I want to be a little bit more here into a vertical shin angle. This should hopefully disadvantage the hamstrings a little bit, get a bit more glute involved. Hope you found this helpful.